Father Michael. Hello, ladies. And I, I was wondering if I could have a word with Veronica. Uh, we'll be right outside. Okay. I'm sorry for your loss, Veronica. I suppose you know why I'm here. I'm inviting you to a churching ceremony after your child's birth. Sure, you know how it goes. But I'm sure it's different after a child's past. I will invite you up to the altar and I'll give you my blessing. This will cleanse you of your impure sin. This ceremony will allow God to forgive you. I've seen this ceremony done so many times and I can never understand why they humiliate the woman in front of the whole community. Bridget. I mean, it's like the man has nothing to do with conceiving a child. I said enough. Bridget, not today. I don't think you do it, Ronnie. What in the name of God is the matter with you? Getting up there in front of everyone, like wanting to start a family is some sort of sin. We've all been there, Bridget. I mean, the baby's not even here, it's dead. Bridget!
sorry. Afric, what are you doing? Putting my hair. Why? Because I don't want to do it. Do what? Maths. If I'm a girl, they'll make me do it. Afric, cutting your hair won't make you a boy. It doesn't work like that. It's been a while. Yeah. How's John? He's good. And the kids? They're all good. Afric's getting big. <laughs> I can't stay long. I have to get to mass. Everyone knows the order in our home is not spoken about, it's told. Everyone knows we're chained to a title and the Bible wrote our world. They say put your makeup on, I do your chest. Liberation Movement is in the process of releasing a manifesto on what they want to see change in women's future. They are calling on the women of Ireland to meet in the Mansion House at 2.30 p.m. on Tuesday next. Hi, girls. Look at this. Where were you? Shit. Look. Irish Women's Liberation Movement. Mm -hmm. Hello? Yes, this is she. Nora, yes, I was just with her. What? No, I, I was just with her. What?
know this is a hard loss for you. Why did you become a priest? Well, my parents were Catholic. They taught you to love God? Yes. We trust our parents to teach us the truths of life. We never consider that they might be the wrong set. You consider God to be the wrong set of truths? Not God, the, the constructs the humans build around God. Have you heard about the women's rights groups all over the country? I have. Cause I'm having. What if it were you? Excuse me? What if it were you? What if you were born the third son to your father's disappointment that you weren't a girl? And as a child helping in the kitchen, your sister sat and waited for you to bring them their food. You grew up really wanting to be someone. You could get a job, but the woman beside you will be on double your pay. You then find yourself a wife and you have to quit your job because you're a dad now. And that's that. And God forbid you try and change any of this because <laughs> good luck. Men don't have a voice in this world. Men aren't the ones that make the decisions. A woman's place is in the home. It's in the constitution. It's the law. The world is paying for the hard views made by those in power years ago. Women were never created as inferiors. It was one person decided that and the world followed. Maybe one person can decide against it and the world can follow that too. undermine the importance of man is to undermine the importance of God. How can you call yourself a holy man if that's what you believe? We must never forget the words of James Connolly. The worker is the slave of the capitalist society and the woman is the slave of that slave. But not anymore. My brother played football. I watched. My brother went hunting. I waited. I was taken to a dance and waited for him to ask me to dance. I stood still while he kissed me. I lay still as he entered me. All my life I have been standing and staring, watching and waiting while they ate my soul away. At the end of the day, we're all going to die the same looking skeleton. I lived in my head, she said, with my own rosette and gold. Success. No one there to say how far I get or end the good I had. I lived in my head, she said, when my cage was gone and I know that. Silent I felt the burden <laughs> I feel like